Welcome to 57 Safari. Good to go. And that's what I call an experience. Today's special. This isn't even about your usual safari. This is about heritage. This is about culture. And this is about the beauty of history. But of course, I don't have all the info, but I will introduce you to someone that does. And his name is Burek. Hi. How are you, sir? Hello, Mr. Ahmed. How you are you? I'm good. Thank I'm very you. good. Habibi, Thank what you. can you tell me about the place? Yeah, this is our camp and uh, we are uh, located inside Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve. Conservation Reserve, yes, okay. Yes, exactly, and this area is a protected area, which is, uh, you know, uh, it's 225 square kilometers. 225 square kilometers, and yeah. it's protected. What's the name behind 57 Safari? Yeah, actually, the 57 Safari started the time when uh, people start to use a 1957 car ah. with the local people in the in the UAE. So the name has, uh, like, a history behind, so people can remember Real heritage. the olden days. Exactly. Amazing. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for the introduction. Thank you, thank you so much. Look forward to this episode because this is what's going to make a real experience. This is a headscarf, mm -hmm. okay, just to protect that you're here from the sand. In, and we're good to go. The national animal. Unbelievable. So peaceful, yet the presence, right? Introduce my colleague. Her name is Alia. So Alia, she is a crossbreed, seven years old, dear falcon, and she will fly for us. So I will untie my falcon, remove the hood, and let's see what she does. If she is hungry, then she come back. If she is not hungry, she never come back to the guy. We'll swing this one, and her job to catch this one, and my job, I need to fit my father. So let's see what she does. So she forgets about that one and she sits on my gun. She gets her food, I get mine. We both go home very happy hunters. Hala Bil Aliya, she's enjoying a bit of meat. I wanted to give her a salad, but she said no. So. <laughs> oh, this rope as well. All so right. Done. Okay. And that's what I call an experience. Okay. Allah! He's making drama. Oh. <laughs> Good advice. It's not just about a camel ride over here. They do something called camel trekking and it's very, very different. You go longer periods, it's a calmer experience and it is definitely embodied and empowered by the beautiful views next to it, including the view of this beautiful boy next to me and this one right here. As you can see, they are extremely peaceful creatures and you've seen them in Hollywood movies since the start of time. My advice is go on a camel ride, but more specifically, go on a camel trekking because uh, it's very different. I am currently standing next to Jessica and I'm standing next to Cedric. So I'm here to ask them what they think of it. Hi. 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 You guys good? Yeah, very, very good. Good. Very good. <laughs> Let's start off by just very basic question. Why did you choose this safari? We we want to see the desserts and uh, this experience is 
really it's unique, amazing. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is very unique. And we wanted something with not a lot of people, and there is just a few uh, couple with us, and it's uh, really comfortable. So, what are you looking forward to for the rest of your day right now? Uh, just enjoy, uh, drink some things uh, with the others. Cool, amazing. Well, I'd like to let you know that I did take a sneak peek inside and you will not be disappointed. Also, they have a very unique kitchen from what I'm being told and I'm honestly just here experiencing it with you guys. So let's have some fun, share some smiles and of course, Thanks. la vie est très jolie. And that means, <laughs> that means that life is horrible, I'm joking. It means life is beautiful and definitely is this place. Thank you for your time, Cédric. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Merci. Thank Merci. you. Yalla. Cheers. <laughs> Salam. How are you guys? You good? Thank you. you ah, how did I enjoy? I feel peaceful. But right now, I'm ready to experience something a little bit different, get to understand the culture even more, and honestly, a little bit of food. Okay, we are ready for that. <laughs> All right. It's, it's what is this? Rose water. Ah, rose water, nice. Actually, we are giving the rose water as a traditional way. Ah, just washing the hands? Yeah, because olden days, the Bedouin used to travel by camels, right? Yes. Yeah, so... Oh, wow, it smells amazing. All the time. Yeah, so they That's had to constantly the stay clean, yes. Exactly. How beautiful! Arabic coffee. Ah, the yes. actual Arabic coffee. Oh, we've got the dates and the lugay mat. The lugay mat is there. Beautiful. Habibi, kifak. You know, this is a traditional way of welcoming the guests. Mm. Give half of cup or less than half. Mm. So yes. that they stay there and you can keep talking to them. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Halalik, I'm excited about eating because I'll have one just for you right now. Here we, uh, where we make... Yeah, Habibi, one second. It's too so good. When you're coming to this place, believe it or not, in the middle, of the desert, you're gonna experience a little bit of luxury. The kind of luxury that you don't actually like, sort of oversee in this part of the desert, of the UAE. First of all, look at this. This is where you get to sit down and experience what we call a majlis. But not just a normal majlis, an absolutely beautiful one. Look, I'm not a shisha guy, but if I was, this is the spot. They've got souvenir photos, ready to share with you at any given time. And of course, they have traditional clothing in case you want to feel the vibe that night. What's amazing about this safari is that all of their food is fresh, extremely freshly made. The hummus, ntabbal, and everywhere in between are completely proper. And honestly, I'm literally rushing through what I'm telling you because I just want to eat right now. So come here and eat it. Cheers. Listen to this. It is actual sizzling, barbecue traditionally made in the Arabic way with fresh food in a kitchen like, well, I'm guessing you just saw the video right before this one where they showed you how amazing the kitchen looks like. I was just so into the food, but then came this guy. He's the fire dude. He does the fire show. It's absolutely insane. I want you, I, okay, watch this. Just watch this. I'm telling you, it was it was unlike anything that I've experienced from the food to the show and everywhere in between. This place is special. This is a night and a day extremely well spent. Safari 57 has truly been a mesmerizing experience from start to finish. From the water right behind me in the middle of the desert and the fully well-equipped kitchen with incredible food, completely fresh, to the Land Rovers from 1957. And of course, the proper beautiful birds that I got to see and the fire show that made me go on fire. But more importantly than all of those, I felt one here. I felt one with the desert. I felt one with the nature. I felt one with the actual heritage that built this place from zero. This is where you take somebody that you really love to experience life with. So book it now with Head Out.